marketing campaign needs good planning as well as a good execution. On top of that, you need to remind your users about the campaign at a regular basis. MailMan's sequence campaign lets you do exactly that and way more efficiently than any other tools. The sequence campaign in MailMint will not only let you create emails in one go, but you can also run or schedule the campaigns from one place as well. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create a sequence campaign easily using MailMan. So let's get started. So for creating an email sequence campaign, you need MailMint free and pro installed and activated on your WordPress dashboard. You can see that I've already done that and Next, I'm going to show you um, which, are, uh, which are the contacts that I'm going to send an email to, right? So let me go to the contacts real quick. And you can see that I have a list which is potential customers and another tag which is uh, opt-in submitted. So you can see that I have about 49 contacts in my potential customers list and in opt-in submitted tag i only have 24 contacts so basically i'm gonna run an email uh, marketing campaign for some people who have uh, submitted the opt-in form from my uh, landing page and i want to convert them to my actual clients so i'm gonna go ahead and click on campaigns module so for today's video i'm gonna show you an email sequence campaign for skincare products so I'm going to go ahead and click on new campaigns and you can see I get three options. One is the regular email campaign, the other one is the email sequence campaign and the third one is sequence for automation. Since I'm not creating any automation now, I'm just going to go ahead and click on create a sequence campaign. So once I do that, the first thing I have to do is give a title to it. So let's say uh, since I'm running a promotional campaign, let's say uh, I'm just gonna write promotional campaign for potential leads. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select the recipients for this email campaign. So since I told you that I'm only gonna select the op people who have submitted the opt-in form from my landing page. So I'm gonna select the opt-in submitted and you can see that the recipients list has been updated to 24 people now i'm going to create a subject line so let's say the opt-in form was about giving them um, some skincare tips uh, for their acne prone skin so i'm gonna write here are the tips you were looking for Now, let's give a preview text. Now I'm just going to go ahead and design my email. So here are some pre-made templates, but I'm just going to create one from scratch today. So let's click on start from scratch. And you can see my email builder has been loaded so i'm gonna go ahead and write something or upload an image right so let me upload an image and i'm gonna click on upload and here are the three emails that i have previously created so i'm gonna click on email one insert so as you can see, according to my promise, I have given some tips on the first email on how to clear up their acne prone skin, right? So I'm going to go ahead and edit this a little bit more. I'm going to add a hero section. Let me just add it underneath the image. And I don't need this for now. I'm going to delete it. I'm just going to write that. I don't need this as well. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. And let's change the padding here to 
to 10 px to 10 px you can also change the background color if you want let's change it to this and you can all, you can just clear up the padding and this is something you can edit if you want i'm just going to keep it for now so i'm going to go ahead and click on next and you can see that my first email has been loaded now I'm going to click on the plus icon here and you can see that I can choose a delay here between the first and the second email and I want my second email to go uh, after three days. So I'm going to click on three here and I can select days. All right. Now I'm going to create a subject line, right? Now for the second email, I want to nurture my leads a little bit more. So I'm going to send them uh, more valuable tips to uh, take care of their skin. So on the second subject line, I'm just going to go ahead and write. A subject line for this and let's say for the preview text, I'm going to write more valuable tips. So let's go ahead and design our email. As you can see, uh, I have added some uh, steps how to take care of their skin at a daily basis. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it as it is. I'm going to click on next. Now I'm going to add another email to the sequence, which is I'm going to choose a delay of five days. And for the third email, I would suggest you to pitch your product. Now, uh, for the first and the second email, you have already nurtured your leads and you have given them some valuable tips, right? So uh, in third email, you can go ahead and uh, give them some more uh, insights on how your product will uh, take care of their skins or maybe how the product will ease their pain points, right? Now I'm going to go ahead and edit the subject line. So let's say here something clear up your skin and let's say the preview text can be have clear skin in let's say 30 days so I'm gonna go ahead and design the email as usual As you know that I am selling skincare products, so I have added a product on my third email to pitch to my potential leads. So I'm going to go ahead and add a button here so that they can get the product whenever they want. Let's say get this product and I will add a link here. Now you can also edit this section if you want. Let's say I'm just going to edit the background. And you can also edit the color as well. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click on next. And as you can see, the whole sequence email has been created. Now for launching the campaign, you don't need to move to another module or create a separate campaign or create anything else for that. You are just going to go ahead and click on send. And you can see 
that you get two options the first option is to send the email right away and for the second option you can schedule it how uh, whenever you want now for this email I'm gonna send now to show you how the first email looks so I'm gonna click on send and you can see a notification that the campaign has been started successfully so you can also see that the analytics part has been updated here you can also see the detailed analytics by clicking on the option now for the first email i can show you how the email looks because i have added myself into the list uh, of the uh, recipient as well so i'm going to go ahead and show you how the email looks now as you can see that i have gotten an email from myself and this should be the first email and if i click on it you can see my first email was how uh, to clear up your acne and some valuable tips and I have received that exactly so if I go back you can see that my campaign uh, has been updated the analytics has been updated and the total open rate is one since I have just opened mine so this is it guys this is how you can create from uh, email sequence campaigns using MailMint in a super easy way and the, in the most simplistic UI you can ever get. That's it for today. I'll see you in my next video.